I'm Evan Curtis. I'm a grad student at SCAD in Atlanta. Uh, I make animations with toys. And yeah, that's about it. I expect people to loan things to me, but I don't loan things out to other people. Um, and, and I feel that people should loan me their things because if I don't loan my stuff out to others, that means I'm really respectful of my things. And so if I'm really respectful of it, I'm gonna be respectful of your things as well. But I can't trust that you are also going to be respectful of say my DVD. If I lend you that, you might leave it out on the DVD player, not put it back in its case, or you know, drop it or eat around it or something crazy like that. When somebody asks me if they can borrow something of mine, I, I usually make up an answer as to why I can't lend them that object. It's, it's at my house in upstate New York or something, like I, I don't have access to it. Uh, or, you know, I'm, I'm gonna use it tomorrow. <laughs> Just simple things. I incorporated my code of borrowing, I'd say maybe high school. My friends at the time were, I don't wanna say they're slackers, but those are the type of kids that, you know, they take a DVD out and they just throw it on top of the, the player instead of putting it back in the case. So it's like you go over to their place and you see like, empties and and like beer rings on coffee tables and things with like DVDs next to them just like my god I, I don't want my DVDs in this situation uh, not that I can think of but I'm sure it's happened and I'm sure I've I've justified it somehow most likely that person wasn't gonna use it anyway I don't like to borrow things from other people if I really don't have to. Um, and I'll only borrow things from people if it's completely necessary. For example, this one time I was making an animation in high school and I needed a lot of G.I. Joes. And I didn't have G.I. Joes at the time because I, I never really played with G.I. Joes. I actually played with all the Marvel characters and, and Spawn and things. Those were my favorites. So I went over to one of my friend's house and was like, hey, can I borrow some of your G.I. Joes for a movie I'm making? He said, sure. So I came over to his house down the street, rode my bike over, um, got a bunch of his G.I. Joes, and went back to my house and started making uh, the movie. I covered the G.I. Joes in clay, which is really stupid. I don't know why I didn't just use the G.I. Joes as they are instead of putting clay on them. It was about two characters that just drive down the street and kill a bunch of people. Um, and it was really violent. I don't know why I made it. <laughs> it was just, yeah, it was like, it was at one point they drive down the street and run over someone and then they open the trunk of their car and they have a bunch of swords in there so they take them out and just cut people's heads off. And there's one scene where a sword goes straight through the clay guy's head and comes out the other end and there's lots of red clay. Yeah, I mean, it's not very good. Um, there were a couple of G.I. Joes that I tried to get the clay off from, and damn, you cannot get clay off an action figure. Like, it gets in those grooves, and it gets, it just gets in there. I even ran them under like hot water to warm up the clay to try, that didn't help. It actually just helped it schmear better on the, on the guy because it warmed it up. It just, it's a huge mess. So some of them still have clay on them because it was like, fuck this, I'm not trying to get this clay off. You know, if he wants them back, he's gonna have to have clay on them. So yeah, that's why I don't like borrowing things because it kind of puts you in an awkward situation. I think I still have those G.I. Joes. Speaking of, did you ever borrow something? My God, I do still have those G.I. Joes. I guess my code of conduct also involves it being okay to not return something if they don't ask for it. Because if they don't ask for it, then it's kind of like they don't even realize it's missing. So what difference does it make if they get it back? Whereas when I lend something out, I know it's missing. And every day I know it's missing and I just think about like what's happening to it, when the hell are they gonna bring it back to me? I feel they are mine because it's been like seven years um, and I don't think he remembers, so. They'll just stay with me for the rest of the time.